Hey everyone, Richard Mitchell here with Joystick.com and we're taking a look at some of the new Xbox features that are going to show up in the Xbox update in November. So we're going to take a look at Last FM, which is right here in the music marketplace. And this is actually something you have to download. It's an actual application, so it does take room on your hard drive. Uh, not too much, but it does have to launch from the dashboard, so it takes a while to load. So here we are in the Last FM program. There's a couple different sections, your recent stations. Been listening to some Tom Waits, Beatles, and 8-bit chiptune stuff. Uh, you can also take a look at your profile. You can start a new station, which I'll do here in just a second. There's stations just for gamers, because gamers like to listen to music other people don't like to listen to because they're gamers. There's a couple stations based on different tags. And some popular stations, Beatles, Radiohead, Death Cab for Cutie, Modest Mouse, Coldplay. It's also recommended stations. Uh, Last FM uh, watches what kind of music you listen to and recommends stuff that it thinks you would like. So let's go ahead and start a new station. Let's figure out, uh, let's see, who should we pick? I know, we'll make one based on the parlor steps. So I'll just enter that in. And it takes a little while doing this with a controller, but it's not too bad. And once you enter that in, it starts up a new station for you. And uh, sometimes you'll have to sit through an advertisement. Right now the ads are only for Last FM. I imagine that will probably change in the future. But once you watch the ad, your uh, radio station will start up pretty quick. Now, uh, one thing you should know, if you don't already know this about Last FM, it works uh, a lot like Pandora does, in that you don't necessarily get the artist that you picked, but you'll get an artist that it thinks sounds like the one that you like, uh, with the idea that you should like this too. Uh, once the artist comes up, you can take a look at their information, how many people listen to them, photos, their biography, similar artists, and some tags that are associated with that artist all with the mind to help you find new artists that you might like. And uh, let's see if I decide I'm going to listen to a different song, so I'll skip ahead. And so I'll decide, yeah, I like this, so I'll put a little heart on it. And again, this helps uh, Last FM help recommend music for you based on the songs you like, so I'll skip ahead to another one. And one of the nifty things is once you back out, back to the main menu, you get to keep listening to the song you were listening to. The music never stops playing. And you can just press a, a button to go back to the menu bar and keep selecting through different songs. Um, but all in all, that's pretty much it for Last FM. It's a pretty neat little service. It's very simple, very easy to use. And it's a, probably a pretty good way to find new music. And uh, if you like music, it's free if you're a gold subscriber. So you might as well give it a try. Oh